And here we are now in the exhibit hall of San Francisco's Moscone Center, about to speak with a few of our innovators. AT BioQuest is definitely known for our calcium probes. That was our initial claim to fame, although we've heavily expanded what we can do and what we can offer. We focus very heavily on what may sound really odd, but robustness. How tough can these things, can these things stand up to the rigors of not only picture perfect protocols, but the rigors that happen at the bench? Can they adapt to cell lines, to different types of, again, even just variances of buffer? And we're very proud of the fact that these have been extensively tested. Insofar as the calcium probes that really light my fire on a personal level is probably going to be our classic Calbright 520, which is our expanded version and our improved version of the already improved Cal 520. That being said, we've been getting very excited about our red shifted probes as well, which are also in that same product family. We are at booth number 404 and we would love to see you. I'm Michael Schmid and I'm uh, one of the co-directors of the National Institutes of Health High Resolution Cryoelectron Microscopy Initiative at Stanford and SLAC, S2C2. We're one of three centers, uh, S2C2, that has three missions. One of which is high resolution data collection for people with data ready uh, samples for cryo EM. Uh, training, which uh, we train people all the way from sample preparation to data collection and uh, help them with the data processing in their home institutions. And a new um, initiative that was uh, developed because of the, the, the demand from the, from the community of screening, screening samples that aren't quite ready for high resolution data collection, but we can help them become ready for high resolution data collection. And this is free to the, to the community and, uh, and we're ready to help and help train anyone and help them with their data collection. We mostly are interested in people that have a problem that they'd like to solve and see that cryoEM is, is one way of solving that problem. We're at booth number 901, and uh, anyone from the three centers can be here to talk to you about getting training or, or uh, having data collection uh, capabilities for, for you. Chroma Technology is an optical filter company, and we've been here, been in business for 31 years. Uh, we've been coming to the Biophysical Society meeting for, I think, 31 years, which is great. This is one of our favorite shows. And then about 14 years ago, we started a company called 89 North, focusing on light sources for microscopy and distribution of microscopy equipment. So one of the reasons we like this show is this is really our market. We often talk about this being the, the tinkerer show, the people who want to do something a little above and beyond the norm. So our optical filters, our, our bread and butter is fluorescence microscopy. And I think one of the things that we can really offer this group is a, a fast prototyping. So this uh, talk that we're giving on Tuesday is called Objective Thinking, where we're, we're saying what, we've, what we're promoting here is an open source microscope. So, so if you have a, a cool idea about a new modality, but you need to get into the guts of that microscope, that's not as easy with some of the commercial microscopes. So here is very open, very malleable, very uh, open to personal customization. And so we want to enable that and that's just one of the examples of the things we're doing here.